Welcome to this instructional video being provided by the Department of State to its grantees. This video will assist you in completing budget amendment request forms for your contract with the Department of State's Office of Planning, Development, and Community Infrastructure. The budget amendment request forms can be obtained by emailing opdcontracts at dos.ny.gov. The forms will be sent to you in Excel format and will include four tabs, which are named Overview, Budget Summary, Budget Detail, and Justification. We will now walk through these tabs and explain how each should be completed. The first tab, which is the Overview tab, will contain general information regarding the contract. No information needs to be entered here. The next tab is the Budget Summary tab, which will autofill based on information that you provide on the Budget Detail tab. In the example shown here, you will notice that the total row is highlighted in red, indicating that the budget does not yet equal the required amounts. The line below the total row indicates how much adjustment is needed for the budget to be accurate. The third tab is the Budget Detail tab. This is the tab where you will enter the details of your proposed budget amendment. Refer to your currently approved budget as a starting point as you begin to enter line items and dollar amounts. It is also important to review previous payment requests submitted to DOS as any costs that were already documented cannot be removed from the budget. Here are some best practices for entering information into the Budget Detail tab. Please note we will be showing an example of a contract that includes a local match requirement. If your contract does not require local match, budget amounts should be placed in the total budget column. In Category A, Salaries, list the exact titles of employees of the grantee and the annual salary or hourly rate of the employee in the first column then enter the requested budget amount for each title. In Category B, Travel, indicate the purpose of any travel of employees of the grantee and the requested budget amount for each item. If mileage costs are being documented, the rate should not exceed the state rate. In Category C, Supplies, list the different types of supplies to be purchased by the grantee the reason the supplies are needed, and the requested budget amount for each. Supplies should be grouped by type or activity and should include examples of the supplies to be purchased. In Category D, Equipment, list each piece of equipment to be purchased by the grantee, the reason the equipment is needed, and the requested budget amount for each. In Category E, Contractual Services, Enter a short description of each contractual service to be provided, ensuring each entry is in accordance with the project description and tasks. For each budget line, enter the selected subcontractor's name or to be determined if the subcontractor has yet to be selected. The requested budget amount for each service should then be entered. In Category F, Other, Enter any costs that do not fit into categories A through E. Describe the costs to be incurred and the requested budget amount. For LWRP contracts, this category may include match-only items, such as the value of volunteer services, donated professional services, equipment usage, land acquisition or value, and other goods or services that are donated for the purpose of carrying out the project. Here are a few tips for filling out the Budget Detail tab. Entries should be descriptive, but on the shorter side, approximately one sentence in length. To enter an additional row in any category, click the row number below where you would like it to be located, then click Insert. Make sure to click above the solid line at the bottom of the category. If you would like to enter a new line within a cell, 
press the Alt key and Enter key at the same time. If your contract requires local match, an error will result if local match plus state funds does not equal the total budget for that line. All amounts in the row will be highlighted in red. Next, refer back to the budget summary tab to verify that your proposed budget adds up to the correct total amounts. When the budget is accurate, you will no longer see any red error fields. On the final tab, the justification tab, list each proposed change from the currently executed budget and provide the reason and justification for each change. Changes include the addition or removal of line items, the editing of the description of line items, and the increasing or decreasing of dollar amounts of line items. Refer to our written guidance document for more information on completing the budget amendment request forms. Once you have finalized the budget amendment request forms, please submit them to OPD Contracts at dos.ny.gov for review and processing. Your email should include the name and contact information of the person we should reach out to with any questions. If you have any questions on this topic, please email us or call 518-474-6000 and ask to speak with the Contract Administration Unit.